Yes, there has been a lot of crashes in Arunachal uh, in recent times. The problem actually is the topography, the terrain that we have a very tough terrain, the toughest in India and I think even in the world it must be one of the toughest. And add to that the very volatile weather and uh, very, very uh, unforgiving weather. So combination is very risky for any kind of flying, especially in the bad weather, like in the monsoon time, it happens. So uh, if you ask me the, the methodology or whatever, what we should do to mitigate this, uh, overcome this problem, uh, there are many things. Uh, let me uh, try to cover them as much as possible. Firstly, the aircraft that it flies in Arunachal must be equipped with the modern equipment. Like when you talk about modern equipment, it's like you know, new, the latest aircraft will have a glass cockpit where uh, the effort of the pilots or the air crew is that much more simpler, is computerized. Then uh, you have uh, so many uh, equipments on board to assist you like the good color Doppler radar, weather radar will give you a good uh, indication to the pilots and to the other air crew who are flying in this such a difficult terrain and difficult weather. Then you have uh, uh, today the modern aircraft, there is TAWS or Terrain Avoidance Warning System. It is very, very helpful in a mountainous terrain. It gives the warning. Also gives the corrective action to the aircraft, even if the pilot fails. This can be life-saving in the valleys. Then uh, there is something known as EGPWS, or Enhanced uh, Ground Proximity Warning System. This must be equipped in all the aircraft, whatever. It may be a helicopter or fighter or transport aircraft, it doesn't matter. But in such terrain and such weather, the aircraft must be well equipped. And of course, the last but not the least is to have a serviceable ELT equipment. Uh, ELT is uh, Emergency Locator Transmitter. Had it be, uh, come into action, we would have picked up the aircraft that much more earlier. And uh, very same day, we, we would have found the wreckage, not keep searching for you know, weeks and after ninth day the N32 has been located despite such being big aircraft and the crash site is quite massive because of inclement weather seven days uh, the flying recce aircraft couldn't really cover those areas visually in twice nothing was picked up so it had to be visual pickup but weather didn't allow the helicopter search party to go through in those areas then coming to the uh, on the ground, this I've talked about is there, on, in the aircraft. On the ground, there must be supporting equipments. Like for navigation, there is something known as VOR and DME. And these are not very costly equipment. They must be installed in every ALG that we have 7 plus 1 now. And all the major heliports where uh, the RCS, you know, the Uran scheme is going to take place very soon and our own helicopters, the state charter helicopters are operating. Those, even the heliport must be equipped with that. Along with that, the landing uh, system, which uh, uh, in the mountainous region, we can't uh, fit the normal ILS instrument landing system because it needs a lot of area both sides of the runway. We don't have that luxury. What I have suggested and uh, put forward uh, I think it's gone to right up to central government is uh, TLS, transponder landing system. It is very small equipment, it can just come up in the runway side and it's ideal for the ALGs and even for the heliports and it's also portable for certain area emergency uh, helipads we can just carry that forward for the safe landing. Then the standard operating procedure for the operators, whether it's a helicopter operator, it's a private or a government or the Air Force, it doesn't matter. 
the SOPs must be formed for almost every ALG, every heliport and every valley. And it must be strictly adhered to because many a times, you know, going out of SOP and the exuberance to achieve the task has led to a problem, especially in the weather related issues. Then uh, the coming to the, uh, the organization side, you, you know, the, we have a state government has got the civil aviation department and professionally I don't think anybody is trained, they are not the aviators. So my suggestion to the state government if it reaches them is uh, to reorganize like any other state to have the professionals, you know, aviators sitting there controlling the aviation atmosphere because it's not only helicopter, now we are going to have a fixed wing operation, quantum of flying will go very high with the Uran RCS coming in. And with the Greenfield Airport coming up, in future we'll have a very large operation in Arunachal because Arunachal state is very big and we have uh, 7 plus 1 ALGs which is more than what the number of ALGs or uh, runways available in Nepal. So quantum of flying is going to go very high. So my suggestion to the state government is to have a professional, you know, qualified uh, aviator looking after the department so that we have a safety, very safe uh, environment created both on the ground and on the air to have a safe flying in future, henceforth. So it's an unfortunate incident which has thrown up so many questions. This is all that I have to put forward. Thank you very much.